Okay, my background is in philosophy. Uh, I have a philosopher degree on Universidad Central de Venezuela, that is one of the main universities in Venezuela. And yeah, I was really attached to the academia. I was working as a ghostwriter, uh, doing uh, stuff about culture, politics, economy, etc. But I was studying a master degree in philosophy too, before <laughs> the abduction <laughs> by Bitcoin. Uh, I was uh, I was trying to be a doctor on philosophy. That was my first step to to do it. Uh, but as I've been, <laughs> as I said, I, I I've been adopted by Bitcoin and and that idea to uh, study only about philosophy in a country like this where the regime is against the academia where the regime is against the knowledge and even the citizen uh, was really hard to achieve that idea since the universities here are struggling to keep the doors open and to keep the professors doing their stuff so it was a simpler choice even even though it was kind of my dream to to <laughs> to be a philosopher uh, a doctor in philosophy uh, was a really easy uh, option to have uh, to let that go and and start to focus only in bitcoin i started writing about bitcoin uh, on 20 17 on January 2017 so I saw the full uh, previous bull market on that cycle and I was a writer from cryptonoticias.com that is a really known uh, newspaper digital newspaper among uh, Spanish speakers crypto and Bitcoin enthusiasts and that's why that's how it is started I was doing this uh, master that I said uh, in the same time when I was studying uh, about uh, Bitcoin and trying to report it to the main audience that we had. And uh, <laughs> then I started to see that the philosophy background that I have could help me to better understand how Bitcoin could change human behavior, how, how it will affect um, political institutions and even the society as we know it. So that's why I think that maybe I'm not achieving my master on philosophy, but a kind of a master on <laughs> Bitcoin philosophy. And that's the approach that I have to Bitcoin. Like I know because my own experience that it will change life if you have the time to uh, spend and learn about how it works and how, how it could uh, help you if you are even a poor guy in a seventh world country as I, as I am. So that I, I think that it, it is my main approach to see how, how it can help people around the world in different contexts because uh, we are the main example on how fiat currencies fail right now in Venezuela, but fiat currencies will fail in every other country. So it is just a matter of time. So as Bitcoin will be there and, and will be useful, I think that my main approach is to see how, how it could help people around the world.